Hey all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, Laporte, Indiana. Even more specifically than that, I'm in front of the Laporte Historical Museum. And uh, as I've said before, these small town museums, uh, a lot of people don't go to them because, you know, they, they figure, you know, as you're traveling, you know, it's more local history stuff that wouldn't necessarily be interesting to a traveler. But I have found that almost every museum has at least one exhibit, one item that is worthy of checking out. And in this museum, the Laporte County Historical Museum, there is an exhibit on a local serial killer, a local female serial killer named Belle Guinness. We are gonna check this out. Follow me. is a Lincoln Highway marker. Lincoln Highway runs through this part of Indiana. I actually grew up like a block from the Lincoln Highway and didn't even know it existed. And there she is. The terrifying serial killer Belle Guinness. Look, look into her terrifying murderous eyes. Now, apparently, Belle Guinness murdered around 14 people. She would uh, put out advertisements for uh, men, I guess, uh, you know, kind of like Craigslist or something. But this was back in the uh, early 1900s, 1908, I believe, is when they uncovered, uh, uncovered the murders. And she would poison men and then feed them to her pigs. And then, apparently, there was a fire, and they... Uh, they found her children dead, and they found a lot of like the dead body parts on her farm, and they found uh, a woman without a head that was dressed like her, and I guess uh, her she had paid her farmhand to burn down her house. So I guess she was she was gonna stage her own death, and then some believe that that she left and escaped and was never caught. So it's a little bit of a little bit of horror right here in Laporte, Indiana. In the museum here, they actually have the shed from Belgenis's farm. Here's the cart that she actually used to haul bodies. Oh my gosh, yeah, she's got a show there. Oh my gosh. It's terrifying. And this is completely horrifying. There's one of the skulls from one of her victims. This is like a murder victim's skull. I guess they could never identify whose skull that was. Pieces of a casket. All right, moving on from horrifying murders to trains. Turn the dial clockwise. Turn down clockwise to operate train. Oh wow, there it goes. And of course, Guns, 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 guns. And what would a local museum be without? Guns, 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 guns. There's actually some really weird guns here. Check out this. That looks like the Joker's gun from Tim Burton's Batman movie. And I've never seen anything like this. This is a bullet throwing crossbow. It's a rifle that operates on crossbow technology. That is insanity. Jail cell door from the Laporte uh, jail it says built so that their prisoners could easily look e look each direction. So it's like a little like head port. The prisoners could uh, stick their head out and look around. I don't know why. I don't know why that's important. There's a lot of guns here. Above all these amazing guns, we have the largest sturgeon ever caught in Indiana. And then uh, delicious bass right next to him. It's a little mannequin family enjoying Christmas. 
Got an alligator. You don't see those too often here in Indiana. And we have this peacock that lived at a famed nine-sided barn in Laporte. Every good local museum needs its own bird box. And quite a uh, large collection of eggs as well. We got here Scarlet Tanger, some Mastodon pieces in there, Woolly Mammoth pieces. Apparently there was like a large amount of Woolly Mammoths in this area. That's a comparison between a Mastodon jaw and an elephant jaw. Apparently this building was actually a car museum and they merged with the local historical society. So it still has uh, a lot of old cars in it. Have a little church here, and this is curious, push to start the doll procession? What's, what's gonna happen? Oh, look at that. There's the little acolyte dolls. And yeah, more acolytes. Look in the other windows as well. Oh yeah, and see the see the dolls coming down the church aisle. This is really cool. amazing. I really like this. Oh yeah, I see that church organ up there. There's an organ player. A little tiny zoo here, Washington Park Zoo. I actually went there. The very small child. I don't really remember it very well. Look at this, Anna. Anna the primate Picasso. This painting was uh, painted by a baboon, apparently. Always very interesting to check out the local quilt work going on in, uh, Locally, you know, different different quilt scenes going on in different areas. Ooh, the the phone's ringing. Some famous local children. Okay, this is pretty awesome. This is a 1978 year. This was an electric car built in 1978. The only one ever built. Let's take a look inside. Oh, that's yeah. That's fascinating. It's an old barber shop here, and I always love seeing these things, these museums, these weird hair contraptions. There's a law office here with the Honorable Judge Susan Hemminger. a school teacher right there and the word of the day is raspberry these are not teapots here these are invalid cups for uh, people with disabilities to slurp out of them before straws were invented got some old-timey medical equipment in here you have a 1920s kitchen this 1920s mama is making some 1920s cookies with her 1920s kids. Living room right here. The TV. Love their, love their Santa. Check this out. It is a small world after all. There's some Czechoslovakian dolls, my ancestral home place. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is dolls. Each one of these dolls is one of the first ladies. There's Jackie O in the back, about a good two, three feet taller than the rest of them. 
And the most recent one over here we have uh, Nancy Reagan. Here's a painted buffalo. His name is Bison Tenniel Bill. I can definitely appreciate the pun there. It's an ice cream scoop collection. Some old photography equipment and some old tin type photographs. Probably the most interesting and maybe disturbing is this right here. Five year old Robert Austin just died from overturning a boiling kettle of apple butter. My gosh, death by apple butter, that's horrible. This 1911 Ford finished third in the 1976 around the world race from Istanbul to San Francisco. Wow. Here's a 1982 DeLorean. Now a friend of mine actually told me that you know, so many of these have been modified to be the time machine from Back to the Future that finding an unaltered DeLorean is uh, actually more rare than one that's been fitted to look like the, the movie car. Got one of the Wright brothers dangling up there. Not even sure. This is a 1967 Amphicar, a car that can actually go in the water. That's pretty amazing. I'd, I'd love to drive one of these. Not really clear on everything that's going on with this 1930s Ford. It says, former car of Larry Moe and Curly, now owned by Larry. It says, this car was once blue. This is very random. This is don't stand in front of a car, which is just generally good advice. Uh, motor doesn't shake, rattle, and roll and low, unless Elvis tunes are played. Please stand back, this car needs to breathe. No DWI in this car. Nobody knows which way. Who owns this car and why? Okay, I just noticed this, and maybe I should have noticed it a bit earlier, but this car, actually points in two different directions. I think this is just a generally goofy car. Oh yeah, look, you'd have two drivers sitting next to each other. And uh, I guess that'd have to be an immense amount of cooperation here. Okay, for the first time ever, I, I've been given an explanation for penny farthing bikes where the front wheel is way bigger than the back wheel. It says the purpose of having a large wheel was for greater speed. The larger the wheel, the greater the distance covered for each revolution, which is all good, but apparently the rider could be easily thrown head first by a pothole or bump in the road. That's, that's the downside. Smitty's Diner. Got some delicious fake food down there. It's a collection of miniature pianos, and I guess they were made by this man, George Gibson, maker of miniature pianos. Some toys in here. There's Howdy Doody. It's looking here in the gift shop, and yes, they do have some Bell Guinness merch. You can get Bell's mug and uh, even a Bell Guinness T-shirt. <laughs> oh, Bell Guinness handbag. So, wow, yeah, that was a great museum. Uh, of course, the highlight being the exhibit on the notorious serial murderous Bell Guinness, but there's also a lot of other just cool stuff. A lot of Honestly, you almost have to like hunt down like and, and see cool things. You know, it's easy to probably easier to pass over, you know, little tiny amazing artifacts. The the little boy that died in the apple butter, that's pretty some dark stuff going on in this museum. And you know, of course, the cars were interesting too. I, I've seen a lot of car museums, and sometimes car museums can be a little blah to me, but I actually had some really interesting stuff. The the uh, 1976 um, electric car, the the two-faced car. Um, so big thumbs up here to the Laporte Historical Museum. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you'd like to see other local museums as well as roadside attractions, amusement parks, and other generally fun stuff, please check down in the description. I have an interactive map that'll show you where I've been and you can tell me where I need to go next. Also, if you'd like to contribute to the channel, consider buying a t-shirt, consider donating 
to Patreon. A donation of at least $3 will get you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag.